Okay, let's see where we left off. Um, let's see. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Oh, this looks quite long. Okay. Let's copy these few here and get started. If C is a critical point, when is there no local max or local min? Well, um, I guess if it's a saddle point, a saddle point, Is there any other situation? Let me think. Um, yeah, I think saddle point is. Uh, yeah, I think that that's really it. Like, nothing. Maybe there's another one, but it's not coming to mind. Um, okay, for the function y x cube is x equals zero for an inflection point, and a local max min. No, it's only. Um, inflection point it's actually precisely a rising saddle point because of the shape of the cubic 196 for the function y equals x u is x equals zero an inflection point again um yes it is the first derivative of x cubed at zero is zero. The second derivative, so it goes x cubed, three x squared, six x, so at zero is zero. And the third derivative at zero is not zero. It's actually positive. So it makes it a rise and saddle point. 197, is it possible for a point C to be both an inflection point and a local extrema of a twice differentiable function. A local extrema. Does local extrema mean max and min? Um, if so, I think the answer is no, because an inflection is concave convex but mm, I think it's a no but we'll check the answers at the back 198 why do you need continuity for the first derivative test come up with an example okay we want a false result due to it being discontinuous uh, like what about y equals absolute of x dy dx equals one when x is positive minus one when x is negative undefined but uh, it is it's a local min at x equals zero that the test fails to detect. Um, even though. absolute of x is continuous so it's not enough for the function to be continuous but the derivative has to be continuous as well to use the derivative test 199 explain whether a concave down function 
has to cross y equals zero for some value of x. Oh, now concave down. See, I use concave and convex, so I need to concave down. I have to check which shape that is. Bum, 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 bum. Ah. Go search up. Mm -hmm. Concave down. Okay. So concave up. Concave down. So if the first derivative is positive, positive, that's a concave up. Positive, positive, that's a concave up, and that's a concave down. Concave down. Is this shape? No, that's concave up. Concave down is this shape, what I would call concave. It's concave down, okay. Okay, that, that, oh, I don't need to do that. Okay, so. Concave down, concave. Does it have to cross, uh, has to cross y equals zero? Okay, so can we have a concave function that doesn't cross the x-axis? Yeah, because it can just be under it. No. It can just be under. Okay, 200. Explain whether a polynomial degree 2 can have an inflection point. Uh, can it? No. Because the second derivative would equal a constant, which is never 0. Because if it was 0, then it wouldn't be a degree 2 polynomial. It would be a linear Let's check the answers and see how good or bad they are. Why is my clock way off? One nineteen. Okay, so 195 is not local maximum because after it, it does not change sign. No. So I guess that's right. Um, 197 is a no. Very good. Uh, 199 is false. Root x is an example. Okay, uh, I think mine is <laughs> easier, perhaps. Uh, okay, so at least the odd ones, I I am right. So hopefully, I'm right for the other ones. Okay, um, Right, let's see what's next. For the following exercise, analyze the graph, then list all the intervals where f is increasing or decreasing. Oh, yeah, okay, that's going to be pretty easy. It takes up a lot of space. Yeah, so all these graph questions are much shorter than they look. Then we get back to algebra here. So I think tomorrow I'll do all the graph questions. That would make sense. And then the next day... 
and get back to the algebra questions. Mm, it'll take a couple of days to do. Yeah, okay, we'll just leave it there for today. Thanks for watching.